Hey, how's it going, everybody? My name is Kaz, and welcome back to Sword Art Online Alicization Rising Steel. It's a pretty, pretty great day today because today is actually the wife who we all know and love, Asuna's birthday. So, yeah, how old is she? I have no idea. I'm pretty sure if I tap her somewhere, I know eventually she has a line. I'm pretty sure. I, I'm, uh, let me change the character. Oh, there we go. It's her birthday. Yay. And I'm pretty sure other characters do it too. Like, for example, we got Yuki here. Let's see if I can find it. I know this Yuki has a voice line. I saw it on my Discord. Where is it? No one wants to say happy birthday. Why? You're all messed up. <laughs> Anyways, I give up. Anyway, we got some new things. We have a new ranking. We have a very pretty erotic type of banner today. And we also have the guild ranking. Or not guild ranking, but guild war of underworld. But you can see right here, it says clear 3-4-4 to unlock. If you click it, it says features currently unavailable. Now that is for everyone as of right now when I'm making this video. And according to Discord, it's a current bug that's going on. So it's been postponed. So don't don't freak out that you can't do the Guild War of Underworld. It's for everyone. We all can't do it. You can see I can't do it either. So yeah, I thought I'd just get that out of the way. We go Now let's go look at the new banner. <laughs> oh, this is going to be great. It's fantastic. I saw this on Twitter and uh, I'm just quaking. So we have Overflowing Eternal Affection. We have Bath Towel Adis and Bath Towel Alice. That's right. The fan service banner is here after swimsuits. Oh my god. It's looking at these characters. Oh man, you're gonna love their incarnate animation that I'll show later. Anyways, so we take a good look at them. So you can see Alice there, Charming He comes with a recollection field and her special animation is basically her in a bath towel. Isn't that great? And then Overflowing Affection Adis has enhanced mode and her skill power increases when surrounded by steam and she's also in that very nice bath towel. Isn't that great? And there's also a character pickup scout. So if you want either one of those characters, uh, you should probably do one of those. Let's take a read at them. So if we have Alice here, so of course starting with 10% incarnate and 10% more incarnate, which your incarnate is how you do your specials, and also fills up the recollection gauge to step 1 if the enemy is a wind element enemy. Her charge skill is a single enemy magic attack that includes magical resistance debuff, so whenever you use magic hits on them, then it's just going to deal more damage as long as it's a magic hit. And she has an assault skill that can deal additional damage on enemies inflicted with that magic resi a resistance debuff or physical resistance debuff, and also has another assault skill that could fill up the recollection field gauge. And yeah, her incarnate skill is a single enemy magic attack that includes the magic resistance debuff. The field gets enveloped in steam, filling up the recollection field gets to step three in an instant and greatly increases fire elemental damage so if you don't know what that a field stands for it means assault and then the recollection field that means you can use the recollection field and if you don't know what the recollection field gauge thing is it's another bar that makes you stronger as you fill it up oh, and it goes up to step five and if you reach the step five you have what a 15 percent higher damage type thing anyways now let's just look at Adis. so each sword skill gets stronger during enhance mode so Plus, when you use her enhanced mode, the recollection field gauge fills up to step 1, just like that. And then also 10%, 10% again if it's the opposite element enemy. In this case, uh, it's a wind element. She has a break skill that comes with magical resistance debuff that also gets stronger, 10% stronger, when it, you're using enhanced mode and deals with even more damage. Her assault skill deals additional damage if the enemy is inflicted with the physical or magical resistance debuff. And then her enhanced mode, her break skill stronger by like 1.45. And her assault it's even stronger by 1.55 making her strong then her incarnate skill is a single enemy magic attack that comes with a multi-target additional magic attack that also deals additional damage on enemies if they have physical resistance or magic resistance debuff basically aoe incarnate deals two hits and she deals more damage if they have the debuff and yeah, and of course, it makes her stronger. So let's take a good read if they are worth pulling or not. So we have Alice first. We look at her stats. She goes up to 2290 magic attack because they're both magic attack hitters, which it's still high. 2300 is like high attack to have. So she has a pretty strong magic attack. Her speed is slow though, 301. So that's a little bit of an oof. And her defense is just getting up there, almost 1300. And then you can see like... Her charge is a strong hit, her assault is an extra strong hit, and then the other assault field is a strong hit, but you know, it brings up the recollection field gauge, so as you bring that up, you just get stronger. And then I believe her incarnate, the heat steam bath, is a single hit enemy, 
then we look at Adis here, and you can see that she has 2,328 magic attack. I had a comment in my last video telling me like the highest attack was Enhanced Mode Kirito and Enhanced Mode Alice with Amayori with like 2,324 attack, I think, something like that. Somewhere in like 2,320. This Adis has a high magic attack, not physical attack, but magic attack, and she also has 307 speed, so she's faster and she's stronger. And in my opinion, I love Enhanced Mode more than I do Recollection Field, Any, but like her Enhanced Mode already brings up like the Recollection Field by one anyway. Even though Alice has the other Recollection Field, I just think Enhanced Mode is better overall. See, her break is a her strong, her assault is an extra strong, and then she gets even more stronger in enhanced mode. And then she's AoE and in incarnate. So if you're asking me which one is better, I personally, and not because I love Adis in this game, and not simping for her or anything, just saying, okay? Just because they're in a bath towel. I actually really like Adis compared to Alice. Well, one, because enhanced mode. Enhanced mode is strong. She has one of, like, the highest magic attack out there, 2328. In enhanced mode, her break is even better. So you might not even have to bring, like, a, a second or, like, third break character if you're doing a fire ranking, such as, like, the one right now. So she, I think she's really strong. And also, because you're putting down the break anyway, compared compared to Subtilizer, so you will be giving the enemy that magic resistance debuff and then you'll be using that assault if you're using her incarnate and you'll just deal even big girl damage, a lot more damage, especially with that enhanced mode. And compared to a or Alice right here, when she uses her when she uses her incarnate, yeah, you'll go up to step 3 in like a ranking, but one, the boss can overwrite <laughs> your recollection field gauge which kind of sucks and this is just me personally i just have more fire charges so i do need a break character so specifically i really like adis and she's also really strong i mean you could also use alice for like that charge to lower magic resistance and then use her assault skill to deal even more damage especially with the incarnate mostly focused on one enemy but i personally really like adis so what i'm gonna do with this banner is i will do step one but and also just because I like waifu collecting, I'm actually going to wait for the raid up to do more of Adis. Like, I'm not going to go to a step 5 here. I think I might actually do the raid up, but I'm actually not super sure. I'm a little nervous because it's a 50-50 of Alice or Adis because they have the higher chance. But I still also have the really scary chance of all the other characters. I might actually just do... Well, I can't do step 5 now. But I'll do whatever I can now and then in the future try and do the rest of the steps. I have 679 and I waifu collecting and I actually really like the unit. So mostly looking at Adis. But of course before I do my scouts, here's the incarnate skills. Alright, here we go. We got the incarnate animations for overflowing eternal affections with the bad towel Adis and Alice. So we start off with Alice. Oh boy, this is probably going to be the best incarnate we've seen in this game in a while. Since the swimsuit banner, I guess. That's a lot of steam, hot water going all over the place. Honestly, that boar probably... Great angle. That boar is probably like, I like what I see. He doesn't regret his life decisions. He's, <laughs> he saw the best view. He's like, worth, worth. But yeah, that, that's Alice's incarnate skill. And then for some reason it does this, but we also have Adis incarnate skill right here. Of course, this time she's in the same bath towel as the last one, I think, if I remember. She's blowing bubbles. That's pretty raw ASMR with Adis. She puts out more steam because she's hot, get it? This is putting out them play. Okay, anyway. Great angles. Boar is just saying worth it. He's flying off. He's basically like Jiraiya in Naruto. So just imagine just that. That boar has <laughs> great taste. Anyways, let's hope we can get- Well, ain't that something? <laughs> Alright, so we're just gonna do my, my bamboozle. we we'll just get rid of the bad vibes type scout first before we actually do- What can I do? Three steps or something? Something like that. Really gotta hope that we'll get Adis there. And it's like, I could get Alice too, but I really want Adis. Because I got Administrator the, the last time. And also, before you scout, you know, you, you should probably wait. <laughs> And I'll let you know why as soon as like I'm about to do the scout. But yeah, we're just gonna let's just do these real quick. That way, if you're skipping the video only to do the scouts, which makes me sad, but I understand. Um, you know. Oh! Oh wait. Oh, I got bamboozled. I <laughs> I mixed it up for the for like the the gold one, the guarantee weapon. Okay, anyway, you don't care. So there is Al or Asuna's birthday. Now you could do it if you want. But, you know, I still really like this banner, and I still really like the uh, administrator one. But before you scout, now listen to me here, okay? This is important. Before you scout, 
there are some things you should keep in mind. If you love birthday scouts, not only is it Austin's birthday today, but in October, there's also Silica's birthday and you have Kirito's birthday. And not only that, but within the next month after October, which is November, you'll have the first anniversary of this game. And with the first anniversary, if you didn't see their live stream, and let me see if I could find it on Twitter. If you remember from my last video, I did mention that they showed a trailer. It showed Moon Cradle Ronier. Now, they actually put on Twitter. You could see on the bottom picture, on the left side, it's a girl with long hair. Now, if you actually watch the trailer, you can hear it's Ronier's voice. So I'll just let you know. So if you can't find it, it's Moon Cradle Ronier. And you can see approaching its first anniversary, could SEO... ARS have new things in store, so you, you might want to save your diamond cubes unless you plan to whale to go for these characters. If you want to be super safe and have a good account, then you might want to wait for the first anniversary and save a lot of diamond cubes because you know how the rates are. It's not super fantastic. And I hope that's everything. All right, let's hope for the best. We're going to do, I think I can do three steps and then I'll probably like wait off a bit until I can get the rest to do step five. And yeah, let's do it. Really, really hoping for ATIS. <laughs> Please, waifu collecting. I didn't even look at the- what weapons do they have? <laughs> oh no, I'm- I hope it's sword. Please be sword, because I have more of those than I do of like, other stuff. You know, there's no new SEO episodes, which makes me sad, but you can't do much about it. Come on, come on game. Operator, I know you got me, you got my back, I got your back. Come on, give me bat towel units. Okay, this is a- a shaft. Oh wait, it's- wait a minute! <gasps> Oh, let's go! Yeah, maybe two a.m. Let's go. I'm sorry, everyone in my household. Oh my god! I don't have to. Sp I could see. Aidas does care. Operator cares. It's still erotic. God. I mean, I feel like Alice's was a little bit more erotic, but oh my god. She's super lucky, especially Eldry, but you know what, we're not- They have stories that show off on the side. Yes, let's go! And she's a sword, oh my god, that's even better. Alright, I'm just gonna do this once, just because I did get a character, and I have a couple fire units that use this as a sword, so I wanna be safe and have like a- another sword for her to use. If I don't get one, it's, it's completely fine. This is what, you get rid of the bad vibes first, and then you do the main scouts. Oh, I'm so glad I neglected it and waited for like the- the dailies to reset. Okay, no, that's not gonna- that's not gonna be great. Yep. Uh. <laughs> All right, now we have the new ranking event. Now, I was originally using Medina for this ranking just because I needed a, another fire break character. So you can see like I'm second. I've, well, I haven't done level 100, but you know, we have 900,000. Now, if you did get Administrator, because I really liked her, she, she's super strong even here. So she's gonna be strong here. I just have to try and beat 733,000. Let's hope for the best that we can actually do it. There are actually stories that this game puts which for my next video, uh, you know, as I do like War of Underworld, I will do my best to show you guys every clip of like the, the bat scene stuff where it's just Adis talking in the bath, like with Bercoli and all the other characters. I'll do it for you people. Don't worry. Next video, I got you. Anyways, this is my team here and we brought Adis or, you know, the, the first OG Adis just for the in increase of break yeah anyways let's just do it all right here we go hopefully we can do well on this ranking event you do need break characters because he puts up his break like at least two or, or three times as you go through this so, or he brings up his incarnate so you want to be careful of that there is one instance where he puts down your incarnate so you also want to be careful of that i have to heal already so the a couple things that i want to do before i start is you know Oh, yeah. <laughs> never... So this is what it looks like. I haven't seen it. It's my first time going through this ranking with uh, with this uh, Aedis. Okay. I also have to bring up the enhanced mode for you. That way she deals big boy damage. I can't use her now because I need to use her charge if I want her at her fullest potential. So the character I'm thinking of going first is Aedis. Because uh, screw it. Um, yeah, that's, that's really it. Let's do it. And let's hope for the best, it'll be strong. <laughs> and we get to see the animations. You're welcome. It's probably your third time seeing Aedis' anime. Do you get tired of it? Or do you like Aedis? I'm sure you like Aedis. <laughs> yeah. It's a single hit and then, you know, that additional which is supposed to hit everyone. Which, okay, 87k. <laughs> great. Isn't it just fantastic? Thank you, ARS. Thank you, Rising Steel. <laughs> I appreciate you. Anyway, um, we're just gonna deal damage here. 
Um, I would use my enhance here, but since you know administrator and uh, T Sayer are going next, I don't think I can. So I kind of have to just deal damage here, which kind of sucks. Okay, so this is what um, her assault looks like. 49k. Okay, and then uh, then look at administrator. Okay, 43. Not bad. Then again, the boss has a magic defense down, I think, right? It should be. Not a, not a physical resistance. That's the difference between those two of who deals more damage. So, okay. What I want to do now is... I do want to heal, but no one heals, which is the sad part. So I might have to heal later, and then I'm thinking of giving this to Administrator. Which, I can I heal with someone else? I could heal with uh, a few and just be safe, which I might actually do. Yeah, I'm gonna heal here. I wanna be safe. Even though I could like risk an additional hit because it's not gonna damage me too much. I'm gonna switch a little bit and do t says charge first. Cause you know, um, with Administrator, her charge is already better. So if I put them like times one, it'll just be slightly better. Okay, now that she has a continuous damage, or the boss does, I can use um, Administrator's Incarnate. Okay, this is where he puts up the big boy, the very scary stuff. Okay. And of course, I, I need her. I might have to replace you. Okay, I'm... Can we go to Administrator? Thank you. Okay, this is a little scary. I haven't done it. So I don't know how much we'll deal, but screw it! I'm actually fairly confident that we'll, we'll make it. Just fair, just a little, a little confident. Just because of Administrator's attack, um, which is, you know, her break is a little better. So that's why she'll so almost slightly deal a little more. Oh, okay, that's just enough. I was gonna say, oh no, I was wrong! Okay, 55k. And then the boss's attack is down, so that's even better. And then we look in 27k. There's their difference. But then again, Administrator's weapon is more up to date compared to Aedis's. So if you if you want to debate like that, there you can. Okay, thank you for not going after Waifu. Okay, now you went after Waifu. <laughs> okay, and okay. I'm very sure that I will just. Okay, she's still in the enhanced mode. Um, I can just do this. Give it to you. Can we heal here? I'm thinking of attacking, but with you instead, because I'm sure you'll deal more damage. Okay, I'm surprised that's not gone yet. Okay. Um, just so we'll have a bit of a better charge. Or like, it'll go like slightly higher, because this is where he gets rid of your charge. So I want to make sure I can incarnate right off the bat. And we can just... She goes at the very end. So what I'm thinking is switching to you. And then eventually bring out the uh, administrator. Or bring up the, the incarnate or enhanced mode of administrator. And then hopefully switch to Tisei. And then bring out the... You know who I mean. Okay, let's hope for the best. And with this, it should be fine. But what am I doing? Do this first. <laughs> You'll be fine. Don't worry. Don't worry about it. We just have all these strong characters. Okay, come on. There we go. There's Tisei. Now we'll bring you out, and then you'll deal your big girl damage. Okay, 78k. Okay, I th I'm pretty sure I passed the... Okay, don't look at the jiggle mechanics. I just I just remembered that. Um, can't use the enhanced... Can't use the other thing now. Okay, we brought that out. Oh, 25k with the break. Did I use break last time and I'm comparing the stats? I'm sorry. Okay, we should deal less damage now because of that TC. That TC is pretty good for this ranking. When you try to put down break and then it puts down his attack. It's great. Okay, I could actually do another incarnate. That is beautiful to see. Okay, we'll just have to give this to her again. Save you for another time. 
Oh man, we're going even further beyond in this ranking. <laughs> I wasn't expecting to go even further beyond. You, you should still have it for one more turn. And then I'll probably use some um, Charge Tisei to do an Incarnate. Probably dying now. Yeah. Or I can use this Tisei, that's fine. Um, if I did this, and then that would be three. Uh, I can't really switch to anyone else. Although, I am thinking of, like, getting her out instead. Uh, I'm just trying to think what I can do. I think I'll do- I think I'll- I'm more confident in these characters. And then we have three. So this should be enough. Just to, uh, make sure the boss doesn't even hit us. Okay. I really wish I can use the other Tisei because she's stronger, higher level. But I can't do anything about it. Okay, um, she's a little weak. I'm gonna heal. Play safe. Because I, I do want all the achievements. <laughs> and hopefully I don't have to come back. Unless I'm, I'm doing the, the... The... The award stuff. I don't know. My brain's dead. I'm supposed to sleep, but I was playing Minecraft. Oh, wait. Oh, that's, that's different than I thought. Okay. Um, I need to... I feel like Administrator can survive. I don't know what he's gonna do, but I feel like Administrator can survive. Attack there. And we'll attack here. I honestly thought there was one more character in front. <laughs> That's why I thought it was safe. Don't deal 4k. Oh, okay, there we go. You're fine. You're fine. Relax. <laughs> okay, there we go. Uh, one mil. 1.1, almost 1.1. I'll take it. <laughs> First day ranking two. It's not bad. That's actually good. I mean, with the characters, maybe I could do better. But yeah, there we go. Hopefully, I mean, I saw on Discord someone had 1.8. So <laughs> there, there are a lot of improvements I can do. I mean, you can also have Dakira. She could also be helpful. I heard well, she's strong. I and of course, you can get some nice stuff. And it looks like this time, the ranking character is a Halloween Tisei, which I should probably show her. If you're curious about what Tisei looks like, there she is, Beauty of the Harvest Tisei. She looks adorable in her Halloween outfit. And hopefully, like, in, Hol in Halloween, or maybe the next banner, it'll be, like, an actual, like, proper Halloween banner. But, I mean, I'm fine with this Tisei. And, I mean, I guess if you want, you can also save for Christmas. So... There's that, and yeah, that's, I guess that's pretty much it for this video. Oh, here it is. Yeah, there's a lot, there's, there's a lot of these stories, which I will show on the next video. You can't see it now. Why is he here? Oh, he's so creepy. Why was he there? Get out of there. That, that lucky son of a gun. Just gonna flex real, real quick. Anyways, I do gotta end off this video here, so thank you all for watching this video of Sora Online Alicization Rising Steel. If you guys enjoyed, don't forget to leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you're new to the channel. And I also have a Discord at the bottom of the description. You can click on that link if you send right to the Discord. At the top right, there should be a playlist if you want to see more SEO Rising Steel videos. But anyways, thank you all for watching. My name is Kaz. I hope you all have a fantastic day, and hopefully I helped you all in some way. Probably not, because I had the strong people. But I'll see you guys all in the next video. Bye.